gets to Misty, man. Misty! <laughs> she had... Hey, man, you gotta give her respect. She was carrying around that fucking annoying-ass Psyduck for, like, half the fucking season there. Put up with that shit. Then she had to carry around the Togepi that was, like, growing. And she had to put up with those sisters that were mean to her the whole time. When finally... And... And Ash destroyed her fucking bike like 10 fucking times, man. <laughs> Gotta give Misty props, dude. Gotta give Misty props. So number 10, I'm giving him Misty there. Number uh, number 9. Number 9. Let's see who we got for number 9. Once again, just like Jay Nelly said, this is on the fly. It's all subject to change here. Number 9, since we're talking about, um, you know, since we kind of went to this water vibe... I'm gonna go with Squirtle, man! We're gonna go with my boy Squirtle! He had the Squirtle squad with those fucking sunglasses, just like the sunglasses emoji. He wasn't taking no shit from Ash when he came up in there. Ash better be coming ready to play. He better be ready to show that game face when he come up against that squad, baby. That Squirtle squad motherfucker. He was about to put him out of his misery with that hydro pump. But then he had to change a character. Left his entire squad, just like the Mandalorian Creed's baby, like Din Djarin did. Came over to help that fucking 10-year-old kid that was on the struggle bus since day one. Couldn't even wake up to be there on fucking time. And Squirtle came out of his way. So that's why I'm giving Squirtle number nine, baby. Number nine, looking fine. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. I put a lot of Pokemon Kind of add this list here, but I'm going with Meowth. Number eight, man, just like you said. Got to give the guy respect. He can talk. I don't know any other Pokemon that learned to talk. He even worked as a translator to my boys there for a while. To my boys, and I'll get into them later. I think you know who I'm talking about. The best of the best there. But uh, so number eight, going with Meowth there uh, for all the reasons Jane Nelly said. Number seven. I'm going to give number seven to Brock. And just like you said, Brock, man. And it was, you know, Brock was really set up at first to be like the ultimate villain, if you think about it. Like he was in control of that first gym. He was very mysterious in a way. You didn't know a whole lot about him. He had that big ass snake onyx. And at first you didn't even know he had that shit because he had like the Geo dude. And you're like, okay, that's cool. But, you know, Ash can take that on with Pikachu he'll be fine and then that big ass fucking boulder snake fuck shit up but once again went on the way with uh with Ash there so uh props to Brock man he was like Ash's first real friend that kind of you know like Anakin Skywalker but opposite and went from the dark side to the light side it was good stuff uh now we're at number s number six right number six uh, number six. Number six.